What's up guys? Welcome back for more Remnant 2 Forgotten Kingdom. We're back in the deserted atelier. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go continue doing whatever the heck we were doing. Pretty sure there's... Oh yeah, I can see you. Okay. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure there's uh, going to be a whole lot more new stuff we're going to see in this. At least I would hope so. Saw some little complaints here and there about uh, reused assets and stuff like that. I don't know. That stuff doesn't really bother me that much, to be honest. Eh, nothing. Nothing. That's fine. You never know. You never know. There's definitely going to be stuff that uh, is going to require multiple run-throughs, which I'm fine with. Okay. Let's keep sniping. I think definitely people sleep on that a little bit. I'm not feeling the space crabs. Not feeling the space crabs. Hmm. Witch fire, maybe? I don't know if that's what I want to use, though. Corrosive rounds? Nah. Just straight up hot shot for more fire damage on top of my fire damage. Could do overflow. Could do helix. Helix is pretty... Pretty good. I do also like the Fargazer. You know, let's go Fargazer. Why not? Why not? Okay, still got our shovel, obviously. You know, I bet there's gonna be some special places where you can use the shovel. And it'll dig something up. I bet. Some people were also saying that you might also get a uh, passive using it. Uh, I have not seen that, I don't think. Like, it'll give you a tonic-type uh, passive buff. Which, that's what I have not seen. Some people were saying it was, like, Mudtooth's tonic. Which, I don't know, maybe? I haven't seen it yet. Still need to finish leveling it up. What am I even at with this thing right now? Plus seven. Not high enough. That's a trait. Lots of these little floaty dudes right. around here. Let's do this. damage to you.
Oh, you were the special guy. You didn't seem like a very special guy. But I guess, uh, maybe I shouldn't judge a book by its cover, huh? Maybe he can be a special guy all he wants. Hello, statue. Any secrets for me? No. Just ammo, thanks. Unironically, I really, really like the addition of the shovel. I don't really use melee weapons very often, so just the fact that you get a little side benefit to using it is pretty nice, in my opinion. No room for that. thinking about running a engineer build again just for funsies I really enjoy the engineer pretty much my favorite archetype ritualist was a lot of fun to run around with as well I don't think it was close to being my favorite but I did enjoy it mm. yeah that'll both lead the same way Special here. That's fine. <sighs> Can't carry any more. Mm, bag's full. Okay. I am surveilling you, human. Yeah, I, I know, Clawbone. You don't need to remind me every couple minutes. I know you're enjoying watching me, you pervert. Somebody was showing up. Come on, give me the ammo. There you go. Not enough room. Take at least a little bit. It's not like a lot of ammo. But it's better than literally nothing. There's got to be some little places that we're going to have to go to that'll involve dropping down more ledges. <clears throat> There's just gotta be. Here we go. That's the door we came in. Not. Surprise that hit you. That should kill you. Or not. Ooh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> you jerk.
face. Come on. still alive, huh? <laughs> oh man, I don't remember them using your abilities before. Didn't get a, uh, didn't get a mutator, huh? Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think I saw everything up there. I've got enough of that. Bird. Hello, bird. Just right where I came from already, right? Yeah. Shut up! You're dead already. 27 handgun ammo from that. I think I'm full. No more yeah. room. <clears throat> Alright, so that is a doe statue. You guys know what that means. I already have a vengeance idol. Uh. We gotta put on that sigil thing and see about opening a door or something. Something. Let's see, let's see. Which ones were they? Uh, it was like the. Not the full moon circlet. Where is it? It's like the yeah, the red dose sigil. Is that gonna work? No, not so much. Maybe the uh, what was it? There's the Ravager mark that also worked. Oh, there it is. Sometimes? Not so much. Not so much. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to wearing the... Uh... Where's the other thing? The thing that I was wearing before. Is it like profane something or yeah profane soul stone there we go i want to keep hearing clawbone talk to me because i'm weird like that oh, hey. pretty sure something happens if i take out all of the deer so let's try to do that way as well.
No more room. Four handgun or four long gun ammo. Not okay. This is it. Not a lot, but yeah, whatever. Can you imagine having three people with the shovel, all the ammo. Interesting that they don't count as flying enemies. Normally, the song does extra damage to flying enemies, so it's kind of fun. They don't count. Nothing? Okay. Just a needless... Needless jump. <coughs> Excuse me. Before I fight the boss, whatever the heck the boss is going to be, I'm going to go check out that other area. So how's everybody liking the update so far? New DLC and all that. I'm liking it so far. I know some people were kind of bummed about the fact that we're just, you know, going back to Yasha and all that. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, it kind of makes sense to me. As far as us coming back here and whatnot. Just because uh, I'm pretty sure that all the DLC, the three DLC packs that we've been promised thus far, they're just going to go back to the places we've already been and just further the story, you know? I, I don't know if we're going to get any new areas. I mean, we might with the third one, because that's kind of how they did it with the first game. They released areas and expansions to areas, and then they released new stuff and all that. So, I don't know. Maybe? Who knows? I obviously don't. You making that noise? Hearing a humming sound. Yeah, must be the little... That was a pretty ominous sound. Another statue. Why did the music get all ominous? <laughs> okay, let's do the thing again. Check these, just in case. No. And then, red doe sigil. I should probably just favorite the red doe sigil. Shouldn't I? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. That's fine. Eventually this is gonna pay off. Us getting this stuff and going to areas and whatnot. Oh right, I favored it. Huh. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. Lots of you guys here. There's a lot of you guys here. Alright. Two seconds. This is definitely going to be a token of favor. What are you? Uh, increases all damage by 5%, gain 10% critical chance against exposed targets. What is an exposed target? And how do you enable that? Either way. Aha! Aha! Thank you. Not bad. Not bad at all. Servine keepsake. 
On Relic Use, gain a stack of Call of the Doe for 30 seconds, max 5 stacks. Call of the Doe. Increases movement speed by 4% per stack. When Call of the Doe expires, regain 1 Relic Charge per stack. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is a nice looking little amulet too. Pretty cool. Dig it. Yeah, that, uh... What's the flavor text on that guy? Red Doe is not the only Doe of Pan Legend. Countless tales and songs have been sung of the wise, graceful creatures. Admittedly, I have wondered if it was the same enigmatic Doe appearing in different forms, but that is only a theory. A remnant theory! Okay, let's put this on. I don't know if we're supposed to, like, wear this thing for X amount of kills or for a certain amount of time or something. It has to activate something. Oof. Jeez, there's a lot of you guys, huh? How many more of you guys are left? At least one. Oh. That did something. Protector of the Grove? Yo. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, he's, he summons deer. Oh, jeez. Okay, so a big deer shows up. Got it. All right. I wonder if I'll be able to fight that thing again, or if you only get one chance. Guess we'll find out. You dang deer. Let's try it again. Hope that it's still there. Really hope I don't have to kill all the deer again to get it to spawn. Also, I saw that gate up there. Nope. Looks like we do get to fight it again. Okay, so... Do I have anything that will help me out here? Got the Thane Fruit. Got some stuff. Might as well at least take this. What else have I got? I never use these concoctions. Increases armor? That'd be a good idea. I think I can only have one of those active currently. Generation. What mod would I want for this? Mm, 
Probably not the Fargazer. Let's put on... Uh, let's put on the Trimmer. Why not? Trimmer's pretty good. Alright, let's do it. Cool entrance. Gotcha. Thousand cuts. Yeah, that was a pretty cool fight. Okay. So what the heck is thousand cuts? Okay, thousand cuts increases this weapon's critical chance and critical damage by 0.1% for each shot fired. Lasts 0.125 seconds, max 50 stacks. Level 10 increases weapons reload speed by 1% per stack. Huh. I wonder what that'll be total for the percentage. Because right now it's like 5%. Maybe it'll go up to like 20%. Hmm. I mean, it's for rapid fire things, obviously. So my current build is not going to work with that. But could be good for a rapid fire crit build. Could be fun. Oh, okay, this is just the door that uh, we saw up above. But it was blocked, obviously. What's your deal? There's nothing, nothing to do here? Okay. That's fine. Okay. Cool. So we uh, fought that thing feel a little guilty about it, but let's continue. We'll at least take a look at the boss before I uh, end the episode. Just a little bit of a run. I wonder if you need to kill all the deer in the level, or just the ones that are in that area. Maybe it's just the ones in that area. Maybe I just needlessly murdered all those other deer that I saw. That'd be a little bit of a shame. Let's go ahead and rest and then go through. Still have 56 minutes on our concoction. Not too bad. Boss? Arena? Oh. thing.
Ah, that's the weak spot. You gotta shoot inside. Wasn't too bad. How's that? Huh? You ain't so tough. Oh. oh, you ain't so bad. Yeah, you ain't so bad. <laughs> I love it when my character says that. Yeah, yeah. You ain't so tough. You ain't so bad. Who's bad? I'm bad. Michael Jackson bad. That looks like a root tree. That's probably not great. So what's the thing we got? We got ourselves a Forge Ember. I also have this bloody steel splinter. I forgot about that. Okay. Very cool looking. Nice. Something fire based. Maybe more sand stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Pretty sure that was probably everything here. Did the dough fight. We got the, the amulet. Went and fought the boss. Got the thing. Not too bad. Ancient canopy. We're back. Hey, Walt's here. Good old buddy, old pal, old friend. And there's the switch that we were looking at before. We'll talk to Walt and then we'll head back to the ward and see what the uh, the ember is for. Hello, best friend. Me. Who is laughing now? Not me, Walt. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it is nice to see a familiar face around these parts. Even if it is a strange and harmless one, hmm? it has arrived at an opportune time. See, I have found another mural. This one is more than I could have ever dreamed of. This discovery is downright exhilarating. The implications, the possibilities, it's overwhelming in the best of ways. I love how excited you are about this, Walt. Excuse me, I <laughs> have a tendency to get carried away. Is my Paxil Tech friend in need of something? Yes, I am in need of something. I need you to tell me what this mural's yes, about. Like the Paxil Tech and I. What did you discover, pal? Listen well. Thalos survived the plague that had long haunted the man. After falling ill, he began hearing an unusual sound that seemed to come from the ground itself. Music. Strange music with no instruments or voice to carry it. He ventured out to find the source. What he found was her, Lydusa, a goddess of stone. In exchange for a year of companionship away from his people, she promised to cure him and give him the means to cure the others. He agreed. What happened to his tribe? In his time away, the plague had ravaged his tribe, but he was able to save those who remained and start over anew. The goddess had granted him an unusually long life, and he ruled over the pan for several prosperous centuries. 
The Pan worshipped their new goddess, building a temple and singing her praises. Here is the exciting part. It is said that she grew fond of the Pan and actually taught them how to use her power over the living stones. Magic rocks. That's silly. Watch that fleshy mouth. Oh, so tech. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Carried away. Carried away. I the forget. living stones are real. The result of the same precious life song I have searched for all my days. I knew I was meant to find both the song and the tribe. Now I understand why. Walt is a servant of fate. Does its furless skin have chills yet? Sure. Well, go on. The power I speak of is great. Lydusa selfishly kept much of it to herself. But she at least taught the lost tribe to hear the music of the stones and control them in some small capacity. Naturally, they craved more. As do I, my friend. As do all of us with the heart of an adventurer. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? I... Yes. Yes, it does. Everything, as it were. See, I have been chasing this dream since I was a child. I was a commoner, born for nothing but bloodshed and servitude. But I did not want that for myself. <laughs> I wanted to believe the lost tribe was real, that they were out there somewhere. So I studied became as clever and useful as I could, and at a young age, I was chosen to serve Genus herself. After many years of loyalty, I was assigned to a mission to explore the uncharted jungle. It was the chance I had been waiting for. So, here I am, chasing my dreams across cave and jungle. And finally, finally, I am nearing the answers I have long sought. I am on the trail, my friend. They could still be out there. Or if not, perhaps the secret of their power over stones. Well, I hope it works out for you. This could change my life. Change our whole society. Oh, but one step at a time. I must not get ahead of myself. There is still much to unravel. I can hardly stand the excitement. What else, my friend? As it were, I have some incredible items that I would be willing to part with. The support... Let's see. Well, nothing new yet. Be careful out there. I will. Thank you, Walt, for your wonderful stories. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back to the ward. Go check out that new thing we got, and then I'll end the episode. Activates a 15 meter aura of sweltering heat, causing enemies inside the aura for 3 seconds to begin burning for 50 fire damage per second for 5 seconds. Last 30 seconds. Oh. Um, oh. Bye. Don't mind if I do. Seems appropriate for this weapon. Let's try it out. It would be nice if the effect was maybe a little bit easier to tell where the radius is. That's not bad, as far as, you know, that's concerned. Charge is pretty quick. Alright, next test, can I activate it and then swap? Yes, you can! Cool. Doesn't always work out that way. Cool. 
kind of like the idea of it. Not bad. Can't remember. Do I have? I don't. Amplitude would work out for this really, really well. Cool beans! Right, well, anyway, that's going to do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye bye